There you go. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Be smart. Be smart. Yep. Grab her. Good shit. Rip! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another video today. I will be reacting on a Jason from one of my past tournaments. I hadn't seen the video since I placed it in my VOD collection. Uh, the tournament I'll be reacting to is Rise of the Smurfs for PlayStation 4. This is dated back in 2019. And the Jason that I'll be live reacting to is Wiz. And at the time, nobody knew who it was. It was anonymous and it was very fun to watch. It was a great tournament to host. Um, many of you have commented, hey, react to some videos. I'm reacting to a video now. So if you want to see more reactions, be sure to stick to the end of the video and like and comment who you want to see me react to next. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the game and check out the video of this Jason. Now the whole team is Smurfs, Smurf counselors, Smurf Jason. Now these, the team, I'm gonna tell you now, it's a combination team of, a, just a stacked team of people from um, some OG teams, uh, Panty Raiders, uh, AAA, CKD, uh, Pretty much all of the top teams kind of came together to go against these Jasons. So this is, this is definitely a stacked game. All right, here we go. I don't fucking care. Let's get it. All right, let me back up real quick and show the summary to put so that you guys can see what's going on. All right, here we go. I don't fucking. All right, so the Jason is under a Smurf name as well as the counselors all under Smurf names. And um, like I said, it's pretty stacked. Care, let's get it. Mm. Where you going with that fucking prop? Where you going with that goddamn prop? Better put that shit down. Oh, you about to get... Ooh! Oh, shit, son! Rip! So, it's very important to... As a Jason, to hear all the mental cues and being able to get on it right away. And unfortunately for this counselor that's down by the boat, was all by herself uh, trying to repair it. Made a mistake. Jason morphed over there and she ended up dying. So <clears throat> again, this is Smurf counselor. So uh, good pressure. Like I said, these, uh, these counselors are OP counselors. So um, good on Jason for taking one out early. Oh shit, Merpocalypse. There you go, I finally said it right, Merpocalypse. There you go. Still to this day, I don't even know what Merpocalypse means. 
I have to like look that shit up. Merpocalypse. Merlpocalypse. I couldn't say it yesterday and day before. Shit. Merlpocalypse. I got it. I don't know what a Merlpocalypse is, but. Ooh. I'm not 100% sure if sliding is still a thing today, but there was a lot of sliding. That was more like the common, uh, it was very, very common for counselors to do the sliding. Um, so you'll see that in the video where they kind of disappear and then they'll reappear um, in a different spot in the map. So if as the Jason, the Jason won't be able to see the slide, but from a spectator standpoint, you'll see the counselor disappear, but Jason does not see disappearing. Yeah, go after them repairs. But you still got an AJ and another Kenny. Two Kennys and an AJ. Those are your threat on those uh, repairing. That's the threat. Oh, we got him at the window. Oh, it's a wrap. Oh, shit, he got his ass. Two. Good pressure on the counselor right there, stopping him from climbing in the window. If I was the counselor, I probably would have jumped through the window instead of... Um, Climbing through the window. I guess Chad slipped up and didn't get there in time. Therefore, the counselor lost his life. Let's take a quick look at that again. Those are your threat on those uh, repairing. That's the threat. See, definitely should have jumped through the window instead of the window was already open. I, I thought he had the window closed, but should have jumped through the window. Good on Jason to stop the, the counselor from getting into the cabin. Oh, we got him at the window. Oh, it's a wrap. Oh, shit, he got his ass. Two. Ghost. Good work. Damn. Let's go. I don't fucking care. See, you see the sliding technique? It's a swing. And then they'll appear. They'll they'll start swinging here. And then they'll end up over here uh, at the end of it. Like I said, it doesn't affect Jason. As you can see, Jason continuing on the path um for those that don't really know that's not in the community in the competitive side where they do that so as a host jason can see it spectators will see the this start here and end up over here and you don't really know what happened in the middle no wow Oh, he's fucked. Got him! Oh, shit! Pocket knife, though. Pocket knife. Nice. Slid right to the door. And the reason why they do the this technique is because it saves a little bit of stamina. So for those that are wondering why does he keep swinging at the air and then not really hitting Jason, it's because to save stamina. Doorway and fucking close it. Oh, oh, we got Tommy back. All right. There's a knife in that window. There's a knife up in that. I'm not 100% sure why he didn't put pressure on Tommy, but just kept chasing the Chad, putting a lot of pressure on Chad ever since he got to this cabin. Um, I would have shifted my attentions to Tommy or maybe the female, but I guess because he morphed in that spot, you know, it's just nothing but the male counsel is there, but I would have definitely changed my direction to Tommy, but hey, nonetheless, Let's keep on with the video. That uh Oh, he got him. That's it. He's dead. He got him. Moving through the moving through the council is pretty well. 
uh, about five minutes, almost five minutes into the game, and he's already got three down. There's still two more female counselors uh, that pose a threat to Jason. So um, you got to be on the lookout for that, especially when you're checking your summary. You want to make sure how many females there are and um, taking them out as soon as possible. Or if you see Tommy and he's by himself, you want to put your attention on him. All right, let's continue. There you go. That's three. All right. Oh, we got some boat activity? Nope, we don't. But Kenny is over there, so we're going to go ahead and try and shut him down. Mm. I'm pretty sure there were there was boat activity, which is the reason why Jason morphed over there. So for some reason, Kenny made a mistake and the boat repairing it or something. Um, but good on Jason to keep that pressure and keep those counselors off of the objectives. Oh, wow. No fireworks is working on this, Jason. Oh, that damn barrel got in the way. Sounds like more counselors popped up. Now there's a female there, so now they're starting to group up and uh, unite, and which will make it more difficult for the Jason. It's usually obviously easier when they're by themselves, but now you know they're they're communicating and they're meeting up to uh, unite against Jason now. So there's a pair, Vanessa and Oh, Kenny. good shit! Oh, pocket knife though, good. That's one less pocket knife in the game. That's one less. And they still gonna hang out? So they already got the cop call and they're attacking and uh, should be, should be good. All right, so anyway, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Uh. Oh, and they got the cop call though. So right now they're gonna start doing damage to Jason, removing that mask, trying to give, get more damage to him to eventually take that mask off. They're gonna try and take this mask off. They're hanging out. Good block, oh. good, good move out the way. Just missed. Oh. Oh, a lot of damage oh, there. They thought he was gonna slide. That's not true. Jason's would know uh, the slide if it was coming or not. Jason's could see that. It was just a regular hit. Quick block grab. Oh, he ain't got no weapon. She oh, pocket knife. That's one last. It's, they're using a lot of pocket knives. They're, they're losing a lot. Yep. Oh, you about to die. What, what are you doing? Yep, oh, got him. Rip. That's it. There you go, four. Yep, moving really well. Like I said, these teams are, um, these are some strong teams. Jason is just strong and teams are just making, I guess they're making some critical mistakes um, just with teamwork. That's it, four. Doing real good. You gotta get the pressure on them though. You need to get, get these guys before the cops get here. Got about three minutes before the cops. Okay. Let's do a little bit of shack safety. What do you mean, Glenn? What's that mean? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes, you're right, Glenn. I got I understand what you meant. Yep. That's very true. Very true. You're gonna do some shit like that, you gotta have somebody near you. Oh, they over here trying to get to the shack. They trying to go to the shack? Oh shit.
They trying to go in the shack. They going for it. So the pressure is on right now for Jason. Um, took some damage. Um, let me get this a little bit more clear. All right, and then you got Vanessa with a machete, Tommy with a shotgun, or vice versa. I, I really didn't see, but they're pushing that shack pretty hard right now. They going for it. Shot. Now this Jason has taken some damage, so I don't know how much longer before that mask comes off. They're in there. I think he probably used all his traps. Um, had he had some, I think it would have been fair to kind of place some right in the doorway just to put that extra layer of security uh, so that the councils can't get out so easily. I would trap the shack, though. I would put a... They really are swinging very recklessly, though. I mean, definitely a strong Jason would defend that, hit him with a knife slash, and then shift, come back around, hit him again, block. Pretty sure it'll be weak at that time, and then they'll be forced uh, to spray, which will make them very vulnerable, especially in small quarters like the shack. You want some more? I would trap it. Oof. Oh. They're swinging. They're, they're okay, definitely swinging. let's see what happens. This is going to get interesting for sure. Is he in rage yet? No, good shit. Take that, you mm. Mask is off. So at any time they could pop this and get it over with, um, I guess they're kind of contemplating wanting to do it inside the shack and get a little bit more room, go outside and pop the sweater at that time and end the match. There you go. Do what you got to do. This is a tough position to be in right now because now Jason's on the defensive right now. He's facing the wall, trying to avoid, you know, the sweater stun. Um, and it's kind of like a, it's a very tight spot to be in, especially with the mask off, having Tommy and sweater girl in front of you. Do what you gotta do. Be smart. We've all been there. You just gotta be able to play through it, and uh, hopefully something doesn't work out. Somebody, some maybe a counselor makes a mistake. Something. Smart. Uh, be smart. Let me back up. There you go. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Be smart. Be smart. Yep. Yeah. Grab. I'm really not sure as to why. Tommy didn't stay right next to the sweater girl. Now, mind you, they used a lot of pocket knives in the beginning, so I'm not really sure how many pocket knives are left, but why didn't Tommy exit the shack with the sweater? Look at it. There you go. Do what you got to do. Do what you got. Why didn't he? Mm, I guess he kind of got to the doorway a little bit quick. I don't know, but Tommy ended up they ended up separating inside of the shack area. Got to do, be smart. Be smart. Yep. See right there when he did the shift, run towards that door full speed ahead. Grab her. Good shit. Rip! Rip! That was huge right there. I'm not sure if Tommy had a pocket knife or not, but that was critical. In, in in this in this error in this particular situation you know again counselors make mistakes or they, they did what they just didn't have any more don't really know but let's see damn this jason definitely was fortunate in this situation because usually you back it up 10 seconds earlier it was definitely jason was on his end pretty much <laughs> Rip like a motherfucker. Game over. Yo. All right, Damn, Tommy. Pocket knife. He had a pocket knife and didn't give it to the sweater girl. So there you go. Um, not really sure why that didn't happen. Maybe there was no time for it to happen. But I'm sure that if... When Jason, when Tommy shot Jason before they entered the shack, when they both were charging in the shack, just so that Jason couldn't see it, he could have dropped the pocket knife for the sweater girl 
where Jason couldn't see it because even though Jason's on the ground, he could still see the, the, the pocket knife being given to the other counselor. So I'm not sure why they didn't do it, but that was a critical mistake on the counselor part. And good on Jason for capitalizing and I guess being lucky in a sense. Wow. <laughs> Do you see this? There you go. Oh shit, there we go. We got six. We got six. I know. Alright. And there we go. We got one. One escape. Alright, so one escape. Nine. Nine forty nine. And there it is. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys like it. And if you want to see another reaction video, make sure to put a comment on who you want to see me react to. All right. Um, I pulled from the VODs. I'm pulling from my tournaments so we can react some more. If you guys like it, like I said, like the video and comment. All right. We'll catch y'all in the next one.